So in this video, we're going to look at creating .xlsx files using Python. Um, and we're going to be using Google Colab in this video, um, just because it's very simple for you to reproduce the code directly in Google Colab without worrying about what version of Python you're using um, or whether you have the various libraries we're going to use um, on your local machine. So there's three principal ways, there are many ways to create .xlsx files in Python, but there's three commonly used ways uh, that this video will focus on. Uh, the first is going to be using the pandas library. So let's jump into the Google Colab notebook and um, we'll take a look at what that looks like, which is uh, Google Chrome. And if I type into the search in Google, Google Colab, it will direct me to colab.research.google and you can get started from here if you already have some some uh, Jupyter notebooks like I do here um, you can jump into using them or you can use their examples um, maybe you have a Jupyter notebook on Google Drive or you have GitHub linked Either way, it's very easy to get started using a new notebook, and uh, I'm going to jump into doing that in uh, this next part. I have the preloaded data in here. We're looking at the pandas library to create a new Excel file. Um, I'm using Toy Dataset from Scikit-Learn library. Um, don't worry if you're not familiar with that. It's just a easy way and um, very re reproducible way to get a toy data set um, for this purpose and it's useful for um, other examples if you uh, are interested in machine learning um, it's a good toy data set for uh, for a classification problem um, so I've also put in a link in the in this section to uh, the pandas library documentation. So here I'm just um, loading pandas and I'm loading numpy and um, scikit-learn um, just so I can get the toy data in there which is the Irish data set. Um, so I convert this data set into a pandas data frame using a pd.dataframe and then, um, then I use the Data frame to Excel method to create a .xlsx file. Um, this will be in my current directory in Google Colab, which you know you'll see here if you click this folder. So let's run this, and uh, and so we didn't have any er errors uh, cough up, and we should have a file in here. And so, so this is downloaded to my local directory, or you could view it then in uh, Google Spreadsheets. I'm going to do that. It's a way to do it. Um, but if you don't have um, Microsoft Excel installed on your local computer, or you don't have um, Excel Libra, or uh, or some other um, software that reads .xlsx files, you can use um, Google Sheets. Um, let me show you how. So I just downloaded um, I just down downloaded that file to my local device. Um, yeah, here I am. And this was the .xlsx file we produced with the default settings. Um, in subsequent videos, we can get into how we could dramatically improve this with some formatting. Uh, we could probably take away the data frame index here for one. Um, we could programmatically make these um, headings a bit nicer, either you know by making the cell bigger or or wider, or longer or wider. 
So, but for just your basic cat spitting out a day frame as a spreadsheet, um, this works just fine. So that gives you an idea of what you can do with pandas. Next, we're going to jump into a basic example using the XLSX X Writer, sorry, XLSX Writer library. So after looking at the first way to create a .xls file in Python where we use the pandas library, now let's look at the xlsx writer library. Um, so let's jump back into our uh, Colab notebook and look at that for a moment. So now looking at the xlsx X writer um, library in Python. Um, we're going to be using the workbook constructor uh, to create a workbook and the and uh, add worksheet to add a new worksheet. Um, so in this workbook, we're just creating one worksheet with three columns of uh, the data frame and another worksheet uh, using another three columns from the data frame. Um, so documentation for this module um, is that is linked here and it's really good. It has a ton of examples for so many different uh, things, so many of the different things you can do in XLS X Rail. So I highly recommend you look at that um, for more advanced examples. Because um, we're in Google Colab, uh, we have to do the pip install uh, XLS X Rail to get that library in there. Um, then import the library as normal. Um, we're going to be using the Boston uh, breast cancer data set. Um, same code we used here to convert from a, a data set to a, a pandas data frame. Same as we used in the uh, previous example where we looked at the Irish data set. Also, two useful things um, I'll mention but I have commented out um, is oftentimes just to look at a data set. I'll use the dot head um, to look at the first five rows or, or you can you can put a number in here and look at the first um, 10 rows or whatever you want to look at and uh, also with the scikit-learn library um, the using description gives you a lot of information about what the toy data sets are about um, and just wanted to mention those two digressions but back to what we're really talking about here is creating a uh, workbook here with the uh, workbook constructor. Um, so yeah, it's a bit more hands-on than in the previous example with pandas because we're here where this is the row and this is the column and we're going to write this as our title. Um, and here we're using uh, right column to uh, start this row. Um, and this column, which you know, is it's zero index, so it's the first row in Excel, which is sorry, the first column in Excel, which is the A column. Or we could explicitly have changed this to to look like this, um, so that would be a two. Um, but I think it's it, it's it's better to leave it like this. Um, Oh, that's my preference, but you you can use it either way. So uh, let's uh, run this, and uh, then we'll look at the output. So now we see that that is downloaded. And we can go look at the uh, download file. One one thing I will mention in the description here, I said that I was going to make two worksheets. Um, I didn't end up doing that, so I'll just remove that. So, so yeah, I just just trying to do a basic example here I only added one sh worksheet you can probably see um, here I could add another worksheet 
I could just copy and paste this and add another worksheet at the bottom called Boston 2 um, where we redefine what worksheet means um, below here um, but anyway I've downloaded this and let's go look at it so again I'm using Google Sheets just uh, because it's fairly straightforward and you definitely have it on your machine um, but if you have uh, Microsoft Excel, I probably recommend uh, using it. It's the, you know it's the best software for opening an Excel file or Excel Libre works too. Um, let me upload. Okay, so here you see the. Um, basic file we produced with uh, XLSX Writer. Um, yeah, so we we spelled out what we wanted to call these with the um, workbook.write and then uh, with the write uh, column we, we uh, wrote out these columns. So now let's move on to uh, looking at the OpenPy Excel library. So after looking at the XLSX X Writer library, um, now let's move to um, the, the third uh, sort of common way to create a .xlsx file in Python. And then I'll talk about the relationship between the three of those, which I've kind of brushed over. Um, and so the, the third way I'll be using the OpenPy Excel library. So let's jump back into the uh, Jupyter Notebook and look at that. So okay, with the third module we're looking at, uh, the OpenPy Excel module, we can use this uh, module for a number of reasons, but one that's very useful is to modify an existing .xlsx file, which um, you can't do it with uh, XLSX Writer. So here we take the Boston uh, .xlsx file uh, we made in the previous example and uh, format the column names. So here we're just basically taking a .xlsx file that exists and uh, we're making changes to it, which is useful because sometimes you don't want to redo the whole thing, but you may want to update a particular row or column and uh, hopefully, you know, although this is a bit of a basic example, maybe you can see how you can use this uh, to update um, existing spreadsheets. So I'm going to take in that boston.xlsx file that's existing in our current directory. Um, and I'm going to apply some uh, style um, to it. And then... Uh, then I'm also going to uh, rewrite, um, you know, rewrite one of the rows um, with a different um, font style. So let's let's run this, and we'll create an output that's of a different name, but we've taken the existing one. We could easily, if I wanted to overwrite that, I could just change this to Boston dot xlsxx and it would just update this so let's but let's run this and there you see it there uh, let's download it and we'll go take a look at it Okay, so you can see here I did some uh, custom formatting um, on the top row um, to make it quite different from the uh, previous version created in XLSX Raya. So we just took this one in XLSX Raya and applied a custom format. This is a basic example of why you might want to be using the OpenPy Excel library. Now I'll just go back into um, the uh, Colab notebook and uh, discuss the link between the three of these libraries that 
I've showed you some examples of, you know, so pa Pandas uses um, XLS Express and OpenPy Excel. So there's a number of parameters now in the in um, data frame to an Excel method um, that are listed in the Pandas documentation. One of these is the engine equals none. Uh, we can also set it to engine equals OpenPy Excel or engine equals XLS Express. And then we can use some of the XLS Express methods or OpenPy Excel methods. Um, which I'll get into in other videos, but for now, know that if you select engine equals open by Excel, you can modify an existing workbook in the way that we did in the last example. Um, so that's about it for this video. Um, so um, the link to the Jupyter Notebook used in this video is in the description below. All the outputs should be created in your current directory. Um, if you run this in Google CoLab, um, it should also run in um, as an Azure Notebook. Um, and if you have um, if you have Anaconda installed, then you know it should run fine, no problem, uh, in in your local Jupyter. So, okay, that's about it for this video. Thanks very much for watching.